Blood Lodge at the Alto Haven Records. <clears throat> hey kids, I'm getting a little better. Uh, taking a lot of medicine. Voice is getting better. A lot of people asking, how do I get sick so often? Honestly, <clears throat> it's more like I never recovered the first time. Ooh, ooh, loaded in. <laughs> I had a sub opto. Oh, oh, buddy. Oh. Today we're running uh, my stalker build, where we use a lot of blood. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, anyways, we got a lot of stalker stuff. Anti-healing add-ons. Uh, mostly the stalker stuff. Mm. Where you at there, Nia? Oh, honey, you better find a pallet. Ooh, how did I not hit that? Nah, the, the idea going down there was the bad idea. Any who's a doodle. Ooh, girly, I'm closing in on you. Oh shit, I may have moved a little too soon there. Alright, here we go. Oh, too much to the right, so they're going for the heal. That's the interesting thing. There was a second player around here. Oh, oh I want it so bad. You know, you just can't sometimes. You just can't sometimes. This is an interesting play, though. She going for it? No. Ah, oh, this is great. I want someone to bleed to death. I borrowed time, though. Alright, let's see if we can get this hit. Yeah, there we go. Everyone's blading. It's great. We got. <laughs> We got the effects of um, <laughs> Hex Thrill the Hunt, not Thrill the Hunt, Hex Third Seal on everybody. Thrill the Hunt would actually be pretty good, but oh yeah. Should be able to see any blood, and it should last quite a while. Now they were over here, so it should be bright red if it's still around. Hmm. No. Where would they have run to? They definitely ran off in a direction. They can't see auras, at least not. You son of a bitch. That was my third seal. Ah. Bright ass blood. There it is. Now we need to get all the way down there. Hey, buddy. We found him. Gotta go through some pallets, that's no problem. No problem at all. Maybe we can hit him. No, doubtful. I had to take that hit. I think he's dead on hook, depending. Uh, I didn't pay attention to if he hit a uh, summon phase. He's just gonna stay there. He's smart. He knows how to do the big loop through all the pallets. Now the thing is we do have to get him to waste these because if he doesn't waste them then we're in a little bit of trouble. Ah, no. No, sir. It may have been a miss but I didn't hit anything so my recovery is faster. If you wanted to know that, um, if you don't hit anything you do recover faster. Um, I believe if you do hit something it's even faster. Like a, a wall or something. Uh, no, let me try it. There you go. Yes, slightly slower. Oh, ooh. so we don't have my third seal anymore. We're not blocking them hot auras anymore. Hmm. Hmm. Just gonna check a locker. Oh, they got one, kids. They did lose somebody already. That is a thing.
I do really hope I bump into one of them. Gotta be here. Where the hell are they? Hmm. Man, I wanted my third seal to work. Now, where did she go? Ah, she just took off running. Good. We had a solid trail. Had is the key word until I found her. Ah, we're gonna have to loop these pallets because Blood Lodge obviously doesn't have enough pallets in life right now. Ah. Oh ho! Trying that 360 spin bait didn't work. She was too far away. Now I can't possibly lose her with all this bright ass blood. Drop the pallet. Has to. So I'm glad I forced the pallet through that window jump. And I can detect where she goes simply by this bright neon blood trail. I'm gonna have to. He took out some of the more important pallets, at least, except for that one right there is pretty important. Just gonna have to drop that one. I'll lose my bloodlust. But again, I can't follow here. Damn, girl, she run into those pallets. Maybe I can get it, maybe I can get it. Ooh, dead heart even. So we got dead heart out of the way. We got two of the generators. Damn, it's really hard to see the blood through the grass, but. Another set of double pallets, are you serious? Holy shit, how many pallets are on Blood Lodge? This is just a little ridiculous. There's your blood. Hey, you. Yeah, that don't work. It's a very unsafe pallet. So there's a double pallet loop right there with a pallet here. Like, are you serious? It's like they thought Blood Lodge was balanced or something. Or something. One generator left. Holy shit. All that time, all those pallets, and... Oh, I've got a good generator set up here. Perfect. Okay, so I got two generators plus the one over there, which we did run by. We started using these pallets, so that's less for me to have to worry about. Hmm. Seems like they were over here. Just got to do as much damage as possible, I believe. I saw something. All right, so I don't want them to escape, so I'm going to try to rush over here. Hey you, got dead hard. She does, and this. swing and a miss. Now, the Neo wants me to follow her, as if I'm gonna let that happen. I've got this bright blood tracker. Problem is, this allows them to get the pallets. Well, I'll, I'll bloodlust this. She's gonna drop him. There we go. Oh, she didn't drop it though. Good on her, she's a real hero. So she's dead, which makes it two versus one, which they, if they work together on one single generator, that's 44 seconds, which is very fast. And unfortunately, it takes me about half that time just to simply hook somebody, so. About them apples. And you can get a straight chainsaw across the map here. There, they're on that one. Gotta stop that. Ah, uh, Cloddy. Cloddy, Cloddy, Cloddy. We've used quite a lot of your shenanigans around here, and I don't think you're gonna get away, love. I'm going to do my best to keep following this trail. Oh, 
Got it. That was a crazy one. Can't get through this. Damn it. True shame. Ah, all right, so we can get some damage here. Go back. And I do want to just degrade this all. Oh, ooh, going for those sweet heals, huh? So that'll start my tracking. And I don't even want to actually chase yet. I just want to track. Mm -mm. There we go. It's almost better than Deerstalker. You can drop all the pallets you want. This is literally a time game. Ooh. Yeah, no. Good try, though. It was great. Now, I do risk a uh, few things here. One, no hook. Oh, God. That hook is far. Far hook is far. Come on, baby. Yeah, there we go. All right, so. Oh, third seal's doing me some justice. That's damaged. That one is still damaged. Good. And even if they pull some shenanigans on me. Damn. Look at that. I'm waiting on it. Drop to 50% and I'll pick her up. And then she could decisive strike. Do it. That's right. Damn. Tenacity is going to be scary. Okay, so how far can she run? Does she know where the trap door is? Oh, wait, what? What? Wait a minute. Decisive strike into a full heal? Can someone... Ex ah. She didn't... She didn't decide to strike into a full heal. She was injured. And upon that injury... She got what is known as, uh, what Shuma calls it. There we are. Um, she had a stipend. Now, come on, you. There's no hooks over here. This is bad. As long as she doesn't wiggle. Oh, my God. She may have given me just enough. Oh, I wouldn't have made it down here if she didn't if she didn't give up. She actually would have been fine. Could have gotten a second chance. Look, we'll even put you on the back hook. Thanks for not wiggling. <coughs> oh man. Take that, you stipic user. Oh, that was scary and also pretty awesome. Uh the stipic actually healed her up that shocked me. I thought she got off my shoulder, but then she wouldn't have bled around. So what she had done is while I hunted her down, she quickly healed with the stipic, got back up, and then started running. Had to. If, if not, that would shock me. But let's see if she's got that stipic thing. Um, yeah, there it is, stipic. That's perfect. Don't forget. <laughs> Just get some interesting people. I also can't spell. <clears throat> but, hey, you know, when a person with Stipic, Decisive Strike, Dead Hard, they had the best map in the game with the most pallets in the game. And I used Third Seal. And probably... 
the shittiest build I've used to date on Hillbilly. But don't worry, I'm not good. I don't... I just sometimes get really confused about that. Anyone who loses the third seal... I just... I don't know what's... It doesn't even affect you, really, I don't think. Maybe it affects the uh, the slugging portion. I mean, shockingly, Brosif got quite a few points without surviving. Likely a lot of um, boldness, especially when you do land a decisive strike. You get a hefty bonus simply from that. Poor Rolo Polo was uh, abused at the beginning, and then, unfortunately, the Sloppy Butcher and Bloodhound really worked out. And then Grimm's, the Grim Chain and the Rusted Chain do a lot to decrease your healing speed. It takes an absolute long time to heal with this. I don't know exact numbers, I just know it is horrendous. Um, I've been affected by this before and a self-care just doesn't happen anymore. Um, also, when you are dying, in the dying state, it actually is faster to recover by yourself because that won't affect, that's not affected by the Brigham Chain, but if someone tries to heal you, it is affected by the Brigham Chain. I don't know why the self-recovery is not counted as a healing action, so botany uh, and other healing actions don't make you recover faster, but then this applies to Freddy even. If let's say your allies, everyone's in the dream world and someone's on the ground dying, it is faster for that person on the ground dying to recover themselves to the max and then you finish it off than it is for you to try to, while you're asleep, wake them up, or well, heal them out of it. And then with that out of the way, that's about all I gotta say. It was an interesting game. You get your interesting salt, and I don't know how people could even justify losing to Third Seal. So anyways, thank you all for watching. I'm gonna go focus on getting better, and as always, good game.